Have you ever stood up to go to another room and immediately heard the soft, familiar sound of paws following behind you? Whether it's the kitchen, the bathroom, the hallway, or even just a few steps away, your dog is suddenly there, watching, waiting staying close. Sometimes it feels amusing, sometimes inconvenient, and often deeply heartwarming. But this behavior is not random, and it's not simply curiosity or habit. When a dog follows you everywhere, it reflects instinct, emotion, social intelligence, learning, and one of the deepest forms of interspecies loyalty. Dogs are not independent creatures by nature. They evolved to live in groups, depend on one another, and survive through cooperation. Long before dogs shared homes, couches, and daily routines, with humans, their ancestors lived in tightly bonded packs. In those packs, staying close meant safety. Distance meant vulnerability. Separation increased risk. Togetherness ensured survival. That ancient wiring still exists today quietly guiding behavior even in the most modern home. In a pack, movement was shared, rest was shared, awareness was shared. A pack member who wandered off alone was exposed to danger. Over time, evolution favored individuals who stayed connected to the group. Those instincts were passed down generation after generation. Even though your dog no longer hunts or avoids predators, their nervous system still understands closeness as safety. When your dog follows you from room to room, they are tapping into this evolutionary instinct. Staying near a trusted individual reduces uncertainty and increases emotional security. To your dog, you are not just a companion. You are part of their core social structure. You are guidance protection, and familiarity wrapped into one presence. Emotional attachment plays an enormous role in this behavior. Dogs form powerful bonds with humans, often deeper than people realize. These bonds are not shallow habits. They are emotional attachments rooted in trust and consistency. Your dog doesn't just recognize you, they rely on you emotionally. Your presence signals safety. Your absence, even temporarily, can create a subtle sense of uncertainty. When you move to another room, your dog isn't reacting to the movement itself. They are responding to the shift in emotional proximity. From their perspective, your location matters. Being close allows them to remain emotionally synchronized with you. Following you is their way of keeping that connection intact. To a dog, being near their trusted human feels regulating. It steadies their nervous system. It helps them relax. It reassures them that everything is okay. Following you is not dependence in a negative sense. It's emotional alignment. It's your dog saying, without words, I feel balanced when I'm near you. Dogs experience the world through shared presence. Humans often underestimate how important proximity is to dogs. For us, being in separate rooms still feels connected. For dogs, physical closeness often equals emotional closeness. This is why dogs rest at your feet, lean against your legs, curl beside you on the couch, or quietly lie in the same room even when nothing is happening. It's not clinginess, it's connection. Dogs are also exceptional observers. They are constantly watching, learning, and interpreting human behavior. Over time, they become experts in your routines. They notice patterns most people don't realize they're displaying. The way you shift your weight before standing, the pause before grabbing keys, the sound of a chair moving, the subtle change in posture that means you're about to move. So when you stand up, your dog isn't simply reacting. Are you going for food, a walk, playtime? Are you leaving the room or leaving the house? Following ensures they don't miss anything important. It keeps them informed, involved, and prepared. This anticipatory following reflects canine intelligence. Dogs are not passive companions. They actively participate in shared routines. They build mental maps of your daily life. They understand cause and effect. When certain movements lead to rewards, interaction, or change, dogs remember. Following you is a form of engagement. It keeps them mentally connected to what's happening around them. Even if nothing exciting occurs, being present still matters. To a dog, involvement itself is rewarding. Trust is another major factor. In animal social structures, following indicates confidence in leadership. Dogs follow individuals they trust, those who provide consistency, protection, and 
and emotional stability. In your dog's world, you represent all of that. Following you is not submission, it's belief. Belief that staying close leads to safety and positive outcomes. Dogs don't follow people they feel uncertain about. They follow those who make them feel secure. Calm energy, predictable behavior, and gentle communication strengthen this trust. Over time, dogs naturally gravitate toward the person who provides the most emotional stability. In households with multiple people, dogs often choose one individual to follow most closely. This doesn't mean they love others less. It usually reflects emotional resonance. Dogs gravitate toward the person whose presence feels safest and most predictable. They are constantly reading emotional cues, often with more sensitivity than humans themselves. The following is also about inclusion. Dogs want to be part of what's happening, even when nothing special is happening. They don't need constant stimulation. They don't require entertainment. They want presence. Sitting quietly in the same room fulfills their social needs. Dogs evolve to live alongside others. Isolation is not natural for them. Even when resting, they prefer to rest near someone they trust. Being excluded, even unintentionally, can feel unsettling to a deeply social animal. This behavior mirrors pack dynamics. In a pack, members move together, rest together, and observe together. Separation is temporary, not default. When your dog follows you everywhere, they are expressing belonging Belonging. They are choosing a family. For some dogs, following behavior also supports emotional regulation. In unfamiliar environments or during uncertain moments, staying close to a trusted human helps reduce stress. Your presence becomes a stabilizing force. Your scent, voice, and movement help them feel grounded. Highly sensitive dogs often follow more closely. Rescue dogs, in particular, may rely heavily on proximity as a way to feel safe. Dogs who have experienced instability in the past may find reassurance in always knowing where their human is. This doesn't mean something is wrong. In calm, relaxed form, following is healthy. It's grounding. Your dog isn't panicking. They're centering themselves through proximity. Puppies follow especially closely because following is how learning happens. By staying near you, they learn routines, boundaries, and expectations. They learn when it's safe to explore and when to be cautious. Puppies absorb information constantly, and proximity accelerates learning. A puppy following you from room to room isn't just being cute. They're studying life. They're watching how you move, how you react, and how the environment works. This behavior builds confidence and understanding. Adult dogs retain this behavior because it continues to offer reassurance and connection. Over time, following becomes habit, comfort, and choice. It becomes part of the bond you share. Dogs also follow because they genuinely enjoy you. Your scent is familiar. Your voice is soothing. Your presence signals calm. Even mundane activities feel better when shared. To a dog, companionship doesn't require conversation or excitement. It requires closeness. This is why dogs will lie on the floor while you work, sit nearby while you cook, or rest quietly while you watch television. They are content simply being near you. Following becomes a form of silent companionship. In multi-dog households, following patterns can vary. One dog may follow closely, another may observe from a distance. These differences reflect personality, attachment style, and emotional needs. Some dogs prefer constant proximity, while others prefer knowing you're nearby without needing to follow every step. It's important to distinguish calm following from anxious following. Calm following is relaxed, quiet, and content. The dog moves naturally and settles easily. Anxious following may include pacing, whining, or distress when separated. The difference lies in emotional state, not physical distance. Understanding this distinction helps owners support their dog's emotional well-being while appreciating the natural loyalty and love that following behavior represents. Following you everywhere is not a weakness. It is not neediness. It is trust expressed through action. It is loyalty shaped by thousands of years of evolution and strengthened through daily interaction. Your dog isn't just following your steps. They're choosing your presence. They're choosing safety. They're choosing connections. To your dog, you are not just part of their life. You are their anchor. You are their calm. You are home. And following you is their quiet way of saying, where you are is where I belong. If this helped you understand your dog a little more, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more insights into canine behavior. Share in the comments. Does your dog follow you everywhere or do they have a favorite place to quietly watch you from? Every bond tells a story and every step they take after you is an expression of trust, loyalty, and love.